the Fusil Automatique Légère, translated to Light Automatic Rifle, would be finalized and introduced for military trials in 1951 by its designer, Dudon Save. By 1953, it would begin production and become the standard battle rifle of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By the layman, it is known simply as the FAL, and throughout the Cold War, it would serve its title as the right arm of the free world. While the FAL was finalized in 1951, the concept behind the rifle dated back to 1946. The first iteration of the FAL was designed to chamber 792 by 33 mm Kurs, the cartridge utilized by the Sturmgewehr. The second iteration, now chambered in 743 mm, would be brought before the United States alongside the EM-2, a bullpup rifle. This version would not differ much in appearance from the original, but would more closely resemble the final design. The third and final iteration would be chambered in the United States 30 light rifle cartridge and compete against the T-44, which would later become the M-14. The United States would not adopt the FAL, but almost every other allied nation would, making the FAL one of the most popular battle rifles of its time. Depending on the country, the FAL would be adopted as either semi-automatic or select fire. It would also evolve to suit the needs of militaries across the globe, each variation serving a different purpose. The David Salvaggio Arms SA-58 is a more tactical variation of the FAL designed for the United States civilian market. While it closely resembles and could be considered an FAL, technically, due to the changes to the upper receiver to make purchase of the firearm legal, it is only a close imitation of the original FAL. The Heckler & Koch G3 would eventually replace the FAL as the standard battle rifle in Germany. In fact, the weapon itself would be considered by some the second right hand of the free world. The rifle would pull considerable inspiration from the FAL for designing a rifle chambered in 7.62x51mm. Essentially, the G3 would operate as an FAL with Heckler and Kochisms. During the Cold War, many considered the FAL to be the democratic parallel to the AK-47, and it can certainly show in the amount of people that used it. It surely was a reliable weapon for its time, and even today. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for your viewership. Please like, comment, and uh, if you want to subscribe, give any recommendations to what guns to do next at <laughs> There's more. There's always more!